significant pandemic restriction, the obligation to wear face masks on public transport will soon be lifted. Authorities will be meeting in early February to sign off on the end of this measure. This is Catalan News in 100 seconds. The Spanish cabinet meeting on February 7th will see the executive approve putting an end to the face mask mandate on public transport. It will be confirmed once published in their official gazette. The Catalan budget is one step closer to being approved after Esquerra reluctantly accepted the socialist push for the B40 highway. The opposition leader warns there's still more to negotiate, but the Catalan president expects a spending plan agreement soon. Amb aquesta decisió ja no hi ha cap escull per no aprovar el pressupost. Ja no hi ha cap excusa. Spain's Solicitor General has requested that the convicted 2017 referendum leaders have their disqualification penalties halved in light of the recent amendment of the Criminal Code. Thousands of doctors and teachers held another day of strike action today calling for improvements in public services. Over 5,000 remonstrators gathered in Barcelona while hundreds more took part in protests elsewhere. Catalonia saw a slight rise in the unemployment rate in the final quarter of 2022, with 21,900 more people without work. However, it also saw the highest figure of workers in jobs in any fourth quarter since 2007. The Mobile World Congress this year will revolve around the theme of velocity, with thousands of exhibitors and dozens of events focusing on 5G connectivity, fintech, digital everything, and much more. The economic impact is projected to be 350 million euros for this edition. We're sort of thinking around 80,000, so the economic impact will go up. That's all we have time for today, but don't forget that you can find more details on these stories and much more at our website, catalannews.com.